Okay, here's something that was a, a teeny disappointment for me. Um, this this game is part of a box of games that I bought with um, a PS1 system for $100. Supposedly there was going to be like $250 worth of games. I'm going through them now and, and figuring it out, and maybe, you know. It's definitely an easy double of my money. But um, here's one thing that I was not told. And now, I bought this from somebody I know, and not that it would have really affected anything or whatever, but they didn't tell me, which means maybe they didn't check. Maybe they just looked at um, at the games, uh, checked the prices, and then said, okay, hit me with that, right? Anyway, I'm not complaining about the crack on the case. Uh, this is a... Hold on. I almost got it. This is a four-disc uh, game. Well, this is supposed to be a four-disc game. Again, um... If the person selling to me had just checked, that would be cool. Just let me know stuff like that. Uh, but when you just sell me stuff and you don't tell me things, I don't like it, you know? Okay, this video relates to the last video I just did. Um, turns out, I'm going through the box, and uh, th the last video I complained, Oh, man, this guy, he didn't even check. He, he There was like one disc in here, and there should have been uh, four discs. Well, there were... The, it, I, Legend of Dragoon, Dragoon was complete in this case, right? Um, which means that this case was empty. But I took I took this from here, I put it in there. But then I went to the binder. The binder was part of this $100 deal that I got um, for a bunch of PS2s and a systems. And the system has a sticky button, which is annoying, right? Um, but it's, basically, you should always check... Well, here. The, but they came out of the binder, so... That's good, actually. So that worked out, right? But what might have happened is I might have got charged extra because this person who doesn't sell games went on eBay, right? And he priced all the games, and then he worked out a price, and then he gave it to me half, right? Um, so I, I should have had... What I thought I had was two Final Fantasies uh, seven, and I do not. I had one and one, and uh, basically the point of this video is that you should always check, even when you're buying from someone that you know, especially uh, when the person that you know doesn't sell games, because you automatically figure he's not checking the games, um, testing them, I mean, right? Whether he's uh, making sure they're complete or not. I mean, so always check your games. It doesn't matter who you're buying from, your mom, family, the Pope, doesn't matter. Um, it's good advice. I don't do it. I, I keep making that mistake. You know, and it's just like if 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 a person does it to me once, then I then I check them all the time. So now this person, uh, he he'll never see this video, so he won't know um, that I'm talking about it. But now every time he brings me something, I have to double check him, which is annoying. You know, I just if you're selling me something, so and you're asking top dollar. Right, and it, it's not only me; it's for for you guys too. If someone's selling you something and they're asking top dollar, it should work. And I know he wasn't asking top dollar, um, but he based his price on on top dollar, and he only went half. So uh, you know, everything I have to pull out that isn't working or doesn't work right or whatever deducts from the price that was fair, and it becomes uh, unfair. Anyway, always check. It's good advice.